<laughs> Just like the longbows I tried out earlier, crossbows have spent thousands of years proving they're the perfect tools for hunting, warfare, and generally making people nervous. With regular arrowheads, they're even more powerful and deadly than a traditional bow. But what happens when you swap those razor sharp tips for blunt ones? To find out, I went all out and picked up a variety of crossbows and will be loading them with the same blunt arrowheads from my last bow experiment. Will they make for an even better, less lethal option? Well, <laughs> there's only one way to find out. And seriously, don't try this at home. That's my job. You gonna try to make me unemployed? Huh? Don't do that. Don't take my job. I need this job. I got two dogs and a girlfriend. They're expensive. <laughs> For this experiment, I got three different crossbows ranging from small to large. The small one is a 60 pound draw and 190 FPS. We're only gonna do one shot out of this one. Curious to see what happens. The two main crossbows that we'll be using are much stronger. The first one is a 175 pound draw, 255 FPS. And then the biggest one, which I'm still unsure if we'll even test, is this one. 190 pound draw, 380 FPS. Those are some big guns. You talking about my arms? Both. Oh, okay, thank you. I guess. Here's what I'm thinking, Mark. Okay. I'm a little nervous for this. Mm -hmm. I've been shot by a crossbow years ago, but our two main options here are both stronger than that. And we got different blunt heads. Pushing it to the max today. Pretty much. What I want to do before I get shot, in the previous bow video, we tested some of these blunt tips on a watermelon. Mm -hmm. Let's test the softest blunt tip out of both of these crossbows. See what it can do to a watermelon. Can we throw in a pumpkin for fun? Sure. Thanks. You're feeling really festive today, huh? It's the season. Technically, it's after the season. We're filming no, this after Halloween. No, there's pumpkins on Thanksgiving. Pumpkin pie. You're right. I know. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> Watermelon test number one, starting with our medium crossbow. As you can see, I have the softest of soft blunt tips here. It, uh, it's just a rubbery little thing. If this blows through the watermelon, I'm going to be a little scared. Yeah, that's the medium one, so yeah. let's hope it doesn't. Will I miss? Probably. I didn't sight it in, you know. Holy. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> what? Uh, we gotta get the pumpkin to make it less, <laughs> less worse. <laughs> that's impressive. Wow, that's pretty, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> it just blew it up. <laughs> that's not what I was hoping for at all. Maybe just kind of go through it and still be stuck in it. I feel like the pumpkin's the closest to your skin and thigh. Three, two, one. Okay, so that's more like my leg. Yeah, I think, see, that's, yeah, that, that's good. We should, okay. We should buy pumpkins. Yeah, the watermelons are just dramatic. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm feeling better. I'm feeling better. It completely caved through the wall of about an inch or so. If that won't happen to me. No, you're stronger than that. Yeah. Let's test the really strong crossbow on the pumpkin. Uh huh. Just to see if maybe we can use it later. Okay. Big crossbow, pumpkin test with rubber head blunt arrow. You think it'll go straight through the other side? I hope not. If it does, we're definitely not using it. <laughs> Cause that's a fat pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Can I shoot one? Yeah, go ahead. Bullseye. <laughs> We're not using that. <laughs> it shot to the back of the pumpkin. It shot to the back of the damn pumpkin. What? I didn't even, what? Oh, well the tip of the arrow fell off along the way. Oh, interesting. But it must have, maybe it got lodged in there and popped off. Well, let's start with the weak one. Uh, <laughs> and just get going, huh? <laughs> yeah. See, and I got hit with that. Like, uh, you, oh, it is in there. <laughs> <laughs> no, look what happened. The arrow shaft oh. shot through the the back, the that, front of it. That could have been your leg and hit your bone. I know. I. <laughs> well, at least we know these heads are not safe enough to use with that that bow. But this was going to be the only arrowhead I used with that bow, because anyone other than that is much worse that I have. People that I always ask, why do you shoot pumpkins and random stuff? Well, this is one of the few reasons. <laughs> <laughs> Just to get me warmed up, we're gonna start with the weakest crossbow I have. Not that scared for this one. We're gonna do the same rubber tips that we tested on the watermelon and pumpkin. Let's load her up and, where'd Mark go? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah, that 
That's about what I expected. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Came flying up. After it hit me, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they didn't fit these that well. I would say that's kind of similar to that 30 pound bow. Okay. You know? So I'm as strong as a crossbow? In terms of drawing? A mini crossbow? Yeah, I guess. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's an accomplishment uh, or not. <laughs> Seems like one. Okay, well, unfortunate for me, but we're gonna do the same rubber arrowhead, but with the medium crossbow. And we could try a different spot on your body if you wanted. No, no, I just gotta move it up. Okay, I gave you the option. It's time to go up. And you know, maybe the video is done after the next one. <laughs> Two, <know>? shots <laughs> Two shots. Two shots and we're done. See ya. I'm nice and warmed up, so let's see where the next one takes me, huh? That's a good shot. Yeah, it was a pretty solid shot. You can see it pretty clearly. I think you hit, somewhat hit a scar there. Nice hit. Yeah. Very similar to a paintball. Yeah. So, I think I'm gonna shoot you with that one later. Unless this medium crossbow isn't that bad. <laughs> I saw the pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. I'm probably gonna react, but if you could like the video, I'd appreciate it. This is gonna suck. Probably up there recently for me for a dumb idea. It's making me nervous. Oh, that's just gonna be a small hole. In my leg? Yeah. Your leg, look at it. It's almost perfect. You got a, you know, you got a bunch of healing potions. It always grows back. Yeah, my healing potions, my elixirs. Yeah. yeah I'll be fine. I can just regrow limbs if I have to. Yeah, you got the money. <laughs> She's like, don't. <laughs> I'm not Bill Gates. <laughs> <laughs> okay, medium crossbow, rubber blunt tipped arrow. We'll see if we do more after this. <laughs> oh yeah. That's a little low, but your, your leg, your leg's still there. No hole in your leg. A little cut off your leg. Yeah, come here, bring it in. You did good. You're doing great. You're so warm. Ooh, yeah, not bad. It's pretty cool. Now I want to see what happens when I shoot you with that. <laughs> that hurt like a mother. <laughs> oh my god, what the? <laughs> well, that's a one and done. Take a look at that. It rolled it up. That means you. It almost punched that. Not quite. Thank God. That was a close one. <sighs> Where to go <give> from here? <laughs> <laughs> Insanely bad. This was supposed to be the easiest blunt arrow. Mm -hmm. And when I got hit with this with the longbows, mm -hmm. I didn't think much of it. Yeah. Definitely hurt, but it wasn't like a better stop the video. Mm -hmm. I'm generally scared to try other arrowheads on that. That's fair. But we're going to. Oh. I just need to decide which one. So give me a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost going to want to take this one. I think it's going to be terrible, but I think this one's going to cut me worse. This one, this the edges on this one could cut me, dig into me more. A couple feet doesn't really save us that much. What are you doing? Very testing it. Want to try this arrowhead? Yeah. Let's see what it does. This will be the last shot from you regardless. I don't think I need to take another one after that. So, see what it does to a pumpkin. I don't... You're scaring him, Jake. <laughs> You're scaring him. I'm keeping him safe. Are you gonna get it? It's gonna be bad. <laughs> it's gonna be bad. Let's test Mark's accuracy, huh? Yeah. See how far back he can shoot from. You know what's funny? He hit the wood too first. Oh, he did. You're right. Look at this. Not good. So I do want to try this red arrowhead but a little nervous, obviously. We had Mark take a test fire at the pumpkin, and as you can see here, when he shot, not only did he blow through the plywood at a low angle, it shot about seven, eight inches into the pumpkin. So we'll walk her back a little bit and see, uh, maybe I put pants on. <laughs> you know what, maybe, maybe I put pants on. You won't see my leg jiggle, but uh, at least I got shot with a really mean blunt arrow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would hit my leg. He would have blew off my hamstring, but. <laughs> <laughs> it, you got close to the other hole. Um, this was the, the distance you made it in. Yeah, so he, he got like another, I'd say, the wood, six inches. The wood actually it, it did, it yeah. Exactly. That's what I'm gonna do. I will put some overalls on, and we will shoot me at the same exact distance that we just did. So for all, the, all you people that hit me in my beautiful shorts, my jorts, I'll put on some uh, some jeans, some denim, okay? Cover these legs up. We'll get shot with this arrow and see what it does. Yeah. 
as you can see, I'm in my overalls. For the last shot I'm taking today, we have the red tip on the medium crossbow. Heavier tip, it's gonna hurt worse. The reason I put on overalls is to make sure it doesn't blow a hole clean through my leg. He's also scared. I am also scared, I'm very scared. But the blunt impact will not change. It's still gonna feel the same. It just won't be all bloody and disgusting, I hope. Great. I don't yeah. know how you did it, Mark, but you hit me in that. <laughs> you hit me in that. I was trying not to hit the same spot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's gonna be such a bad bruise. That's gonna be a great bruise. That's gonna be an insane bruise. Oh, you can oh see my it. god. Yeah, I hit you in the oh. teeth. <laughs> and I had the most layers there. I had the most layers. I had this, my overalls, my jorts, my compression shorts, and my underwear. And it hurt so bad! <laughs> oh, God! Okay, let's take a look at my butt cheek. Nice. You didn't break skin. That was the goal, but that hit to four layers of skin. Oh, sorry, clothing. How do we tell? You can't tell? If oh. someone said you got shot with a blunt arrow crossbow, it's All right, shoot me again a little bit lower. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do three shots. <laughs> you want to change the tip? No, I don't want to change a damn tip. <laughs> but I'll still be wearing pants. Look, I didn't say it, look, it didn't look bad. You're not impressed, Jake. You know this, Jake. If you're not impressed, we got to keep on going. Shoot me again. Might as well do all three tips. Yeah, do the other tip. <laughs> <laughs> last blunt arrowhead that I'm testing. I know I said the other one was the last one, but I lied. Looks like this. Now, on the normal bow, this cut me pretty good. It wasn't a super hard impact. Mm -hmm. This is shooting so hard, though. I'm gonna keep the overalls on because I don't want this to like gouge out my leg. This really isn't the last one. We're using the bigger bow. We're just teasing. We're not you. going. Oh, man, don't don't say. <laughs> don't 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 pressure me. Okay. We'll just put on two pairs of. Let's overalls. see what this one does. Mark has to hit it beautifully between my butt cheek and the low shot he did at first. He's got to hit me right here. I'm sure he won't mess that up. Nope. Yeah. Was it in between? Hey, sir, are you okay? Uh. Mr. Jones, hit the target. You did it. You finished all of them. Yeah, what do we gotta do for this bow? We can do the other bow. It's up to Jake. He's the safety advisor. What do we gotta do the other bow, Jake? Do you wanna do the other bow? That one hurt worse. <laughs> I don't think we need to do the other bow then. Can but, I shoot Mark now? Yeah. Yeah, you can, you can shoot me. But this bow? No. <laughs> <laughs> that hurt really bad, guys. <laughs> That, that moves faster, and he hit me. Perfect. You did, actually did. You, you got another another shot here. It was right here. Nice. Oh, I can't undo my overalls now because we put them on backwards. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I was like aiming towards you. I'm like, <laughs> is he flipped the other way? I'm just like, <laughs> I was so confused. Can you undo mine so I can show it real quick? <laughs> yeah. Good thing you wore the overalls. So you yeah. can see where there there was stitching. Oh, you yeah. see that? Yeah. The stitching of the overall actually create an extra padding. That's pretty cool. My booty looking a little worse. Still nothing compared to that bare skin. Dang. Just imagine the, those last two arrows, bare skin. That would be way bloody. We could try them. Nope. No, no, no. I get to shoot you now, Mark. You guys said I can shoot you. Yeah, I'm ready. Go With the it. little baby bow. Hey, I'm so scared. <laughs> Mark's turn. We're just going to do the little small crossbow. With the rubber tip, he's going to go on bare skin. Kind of like we did for the first shot for me. And then just imagine, however that feels, times it by 10 for times the crossbow. Like 10? Yeah, the other crossbow you shot me with. 10 times worse? Maybe like three. That's what you shot me first. Uh huh. Look at the second shot. I have a mountain. Four and a half. We can shoot you with the other one. I'm an average guy. I do what I think. No, no. Uh. The head uh. popped off that too. <laughs> Survivable, right? Yeah. It's... What do you say? Like a paintball? I think it's less than a paintball. A paintball's got a little bit more sting mm. to it, I yeah, think. Yeah, more sting. It's a little bit more blunt. It's a good shot. Oh, that, that's a nicer shot than it looked like on me. I think you. Oh, you hit my D battery scar. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> yeah, this is like a very tiny crossbow. I Really, in terms of strength, it's crazy, like, from that medium one to the big one, it's only like a 10-pound, 20-pound draw difference. Mm -hmm. 
but the FPS goes like over a hundred different. Give us your thoughts. We'll make a little chorus. We'll both put on helmets and we'll fight each other until someone quits. You're gonna quit first. My mama said I'm not a quitter. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a terrible idea, but yeah, go ahead. Give us your thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do a quick look at my leg. See what we're dealing with. First shot with the weak crossbow. Little red mark, not that bad. Second shot, rubber tip, medium crossbow. Pretty terrible looking. It's a pretty big mound on my leg right now. Other shots were with more pants on. This is gonna be a big bruise. I know that's gonna be a big bruise, but that was more covered. I feel like we should give some of these toys, you know, to Toys for Tots. You want me to give a crossbow to Toys for Tots? Kim would love that. I'll check back in a couple days and give you my final thoughts. See you later. Don't ever be a dad. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for the blunt crossbow data review. Three days after the experiment, the worst injury I had was from the first blunt arrow I took. Not only did it cause a more deep tissue injury, but it actually punctured my skin. This was due to the arrow shaft shooting straight through the rubber blunt head on impact. The other two shots I took left me with some seriously intense bruising, which was pretty impressive to me because I was wearing multiple layers of clothing. So here's my takeaway. Blunt tipped arrows fired from a crossbow can absolutely work as a less lethal option for self-defense. Depending on the power of the crossbow and where someone is hit, they have a strong potential to be lethal. But those are just my thoughts and I'd love to hear what you all think down in the comments. Also, don't forget to join my YouTube memberships or Patreon to get access to bonus content. The links for that are below. And if you enjoyed this video, you'll love this one where I get shot with mystery items out of a potato cannon. Mark took a serious beating in that video, which in fairness was definitely my fault. Sorry, Mark.